and I'm going to run out of time, but I'll try to make each of these summaries brief because there are dozens of instances. Even though the media doesn't want to report them, sometimes they get reported. Just, just this week, last week, May 25th, 2022, uh, Charleston, West Virginia. Here a man with an extensive criminal history started firing an AR-15 style firearm into a crowd. Fortunately, a woman who was legally carrying a gun was there to stop the attack. She shot the attacker. It ended before anybody got hurt. South Fulton, Georgia, May 3rd, 2022. A teenager started firing his gun at multiple people. There was a large number of people present at the park because of an anti-violence riot. South Fulton, Georgia, this comes from a news report. Meadows said, the men involved in the shootout with Hambrick have been cooperative and will likely not be charged since the teenager fired the first shot. After having reviewed most of the witnesses' statements, it appears that the descendant, Mr. Hambrick, discharged his weapon first, and as a result of that, there was an exchange of gunfire between him and two individuals, good guys with the gun. Portland, Oregon, February 19, 2022. Homeowner allegedly confronted participants at a racial justice demonstration Saturday night before pulling out a handgun and shooting multiple people in the crowd, leaving one woman dead and several others injured. The shooting ended when a person with the group of demonstrators who is licensed to conceal carry a firearm fired back, striking the homeowner in the hip. Again, a good guy with a gun stops the shooting. Lancaster, Pennsylvania, October 17th, 2021. On Sunday, October 17th, four people were injured after a fight between two teenagers at Lancaster Park. City Center Mall escalated into a shooting this past weekend. A 16-year-old who was illegally carrying a gun started the shooting. But it could have been much worse were it not for concealed handgun permit holder. A bystander armed with a gun intervened in, in the shooting shooting one of the participants, the unidentified bystander who legally possessed the firearm had heard gunshots related to the fight between two males that knew each other, police said. The bystander remained on the scene until security and police arrived. 